first until it ranks today as the most powerful naval force afloat, the United States Seventh Fleet cruises within range of Communist China's guns. Supplies for the nationalist Chinese outposts of Quimoy and Matsu are convoyed right up to the three-mile limit. In these scenes, an escort ship is refueled from the carrier Princeton, one of three in this task force. No communist gun has yet fired on the ships of the Seventh Fleet, but the Reds have kept up the blockade of the coastal islets where Chung has massed one-third of the nationalist army. At three miles offshore, U.S. air cover and naval support stops. When the nationalist supply ships sail on, they'll be met with a withering barrage at barely 19,000 yards range. Quimoy supplies are at a trickle, not enough for the needs of civilians and the garrison. Nationalist leaders now ask that the 7th Fleet go all the way. The Reds show no signs of easing off. With no results yet in sight from the diplomatic negotiations now underway, the pressure in the Formosa Straits mounts ominously.